Have you ever tried to meditate? You've ever thought, you know what, maybe I'll give meditation a go. But when you do, your mind is so crowded with thoughts. So many, so many things that are on your mind. Your mind is so cluttered, so overcrowded with some important things that you need to worry about and some not so important things that's on your mind. How much is currently on your mind? How much stress is on your mind? And how on earth can you even possibly think about resetting your brain and building it up for success? Hey, first things first, I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. Yeah, a cluttered mind. I used to have so many things on my mind all the time where the possibility of meditation, where you have to aim to meditate and try and clear your mind, focusing on the present, that was an impossible dream for me. Yet somehow I meditate every single day. I managed to find a way around it. I managed to find a way to reset my brain from random useless thoughts because most of the thoughts in my head were random and useless. It was usually about that thing I saw on Instagram or TikTok or something I was watching on YouTube. Oh, I wonder what happens in the next series like episode. Like it was usually random stuff that didn't matter. So how did I hard reset my brain and build it up with good habits and things that will make me successful? First things first, we need to understand where a cluttered mind comes from and how having a crowded mind can affect you, the costs of it. You see, a cluttered mind can lead to increased stress, lack of focus, the feeling of overwhelmed, it hampers productivity, mental health, and just overall your performance throughout your day. And this is something that you may be feeling a lot, so this might be a really big problem for you. But what we need to understand, a cluttered mind comes from things such as information overload, multitasking, and a lack of priorities. You see, multitasking isn't a thing. I, I, I hate, like, I used to think, I used to, I go, I'm a multitasker all the time. And the fact that I'm now saying that, yeah, multitasking is bull. It's not a real thing. Um, it's quite, it's quite a big change in personality, but it's because when you think about it, when you try so many different things at once, yeah, you can do it, but is the information actually going into your head? Is it actually useful? And more often than not, it's not and you're actually wasting your time. So multitasking is actually destroying, like wasting time. It's actually worse for you. Focusing on one task and then getting that done and focusing on that. I'm not getting into that rant. That's a completely different video. <laughs> so first things first, how can you actually declutter your mind? And what were the things that I did? So the first thing that I did was I watched a Jordan Peterson <laughs> motivational video. <laughs> yeah, so I watched a Jordan Peterson motivational video and he told me about the room, like clear your room. If you want to be productive, you want to be successful, first thing you need to do is tidy your room. Now, I didn't understand this, so I really looked into it in depth and I did it myself. The reason that they say that in military as well, I used to be in the army cadet force, so you need to tidy up your room, make your bed, it's because your room, your environment, more importantly, so not just your room, your environment is a direct reflection of your mind. So if your room is really, really untidy, there's a chance that your mind is really, really decluttered. That's not right. <laughs> there's a chance that your mind is really, really cluttered, really, really crowded. When you first start to clear your environment, you know, getting rid of things one step at a time, and it's kind of a slow therapeutic process anyway, you start to clear out your room, you look at your room, and you start to think, oh damn, you know what, that was nice. And it starts to almost as if you're decluttering your mind. Your environment is a direct reflection of how your mind is. So first steps first, just clear out your room. Get rid of things you don't need. One, your room looks amazing. And you kind of feel really good about it. And it takes your mind off things. You know, I recently had a huge change in room. I, you know, I have two desks now, like this is my recording desk and like kind of where I kind of sort out my skateboards and stuff and then here over here is like my editing like platform stuff and then over there's my bed where it used to be that's the tv my bed's over there and then that was my i've completely changed my room i got rid of the tv um instant gratification fuck that <laughs> the next thing is limit distractions you see distractions are the biggest downfall to your mind being overcrowded and also focus 
distractions destroy our focus. The best way to put this, some people, and this is what I used to do as an excuse as well, uh, I did 30 minutes of revision and then five minutes of like a break. So 30 minutes revision, five minutes break, 30 minutes revision, five minutes break. And I do that, but then I learned something and I realized that that was pointless. Every time you touch your phone and go on it for five minutes, your mind isn't able to focus for the next hour. And I was revising for 30 minutes, then going on my phone for five minutes, revising for 30 minutes. That whole four hours I spent doing that was completely useless because none of the information went in my head. I was distracted by my phone. That sounds kind of like mad, and you're probably late on the camera saying like, ha, you wasted your fucking time, which I did, yeah. But how many of us actually use our phones when we're trying to study, when we're trying to focus on something? Get rid of the distractions or limit the distractions as much as you can. Don't study with your phone, put it in another room. Don't study with like TV in your room or anything. Limit your distractions as much as possible because they will help you improve your focus and it will help you declutter your mind. When your mind has a lot of things to be distracted about, it has a lot of things to think about. Now one hugely beneficial thing that I've done is something known as the 80-20 rule. And basically, this is just prioritizing the important tasks of your day. A lot of the times we wake up and we're like, yeah, I'm gonna be super productive today. Oh, I'll, I'll watch the Jordan Peterson video. <laughs> I'm gonna be, I'm super motivated. I'm gonna be super productive. And then you'll go off and try and be productive. But then you have this thing on your mind. I've got so many, nope. I've got so many things I wanna get done. And you start having a crowded mind from things you wanna be productive about. That's not helpful either because you start overthinking, you start feeling overwhelmed by all the things you need to get done. And then you start to get scared and then you don't do it. The 80-20 rule is just prioritizing the things that are more important. So what tasks that today you wanna to get done that would be the most positive effect on you right now? That would make you feel the best. That is by far the best way to like prior, like that highlight the better tasks. So like for me, Right now, it's like, oh, you know what, recording. Like, it's currently like 6 a.m. No, I lied, it's 6.03. So it's currently 6.03, um, and I wasn't going to, like, record. I was going to, like, uh, what was it, go to the gym and stuff. But then I asked myself, you know what? What's the most beneficial thing that I want to get done right now? I want to record a video. So here I am. Ask yourself, what is the most beneficial task to you to get done today right now? and get that done first. It gives you a huge sense of clarity. It's one step at a time and you don't have the problem of thinking about so many tasks you wanna get done because that is overwhelming and can be stressful. Yes, productive things on your mind can be stressful too. And the last thing, I'm pretty sure like you would know that this is gonna be on here. And the best way to declutter your mind is to practice in mindfulness. Mindfulness is a great, great thing. It basically practices in the art of being present in the current moment. And you know the best way to do this is meditation. I don't need to explain to you like how beneficial this is. You already know you're not an idiot. You're a smart person, man. You're a smart guy. You know that meditation is beneficial to you. It helps you practice in mindfulness. But that's where we come to the problem. You can't do it because your mind is too crowded. So when you try to clear your mind, you can't. So therefore you can't meditate. So therefore you can't practice mindfulness. So therefore you can't declutter your mind. Yeah, it's kind of a, this is, yeah, yeah, you can see the loop we're in. And the best thing to do when you're meditating is not to aim to clear your mind. You didn't think I'd say that. When I meditate, how I went from someone who was unable to meditate because my mind was always so crowded to meditating every single day is the aim to just focus on one thing. I don't want to aim for a completely empty mind because that's almost impossible to do. I wouldn't ask you to do something impossible like that. Focus on one thing. It can be a phrase, it can be a word, it can be a, an object, it can be anything. Just one thing you want to focus, a word that you'll repeat in your mind over and over again as you're breathing in through your nose and out with your mouth. You know, not doing this mouth breathing shit like <laughs> you're, you're breathing in with your nose. Just one word, phrase, thing, object you want to focus on. And anytime your mind does drift off, bring your mind back to that one thing you're thinking of. The reason I say that is because your mind is going to be crowded. It's going to drift off. However, that's a good thing. Because when your mind drifts off and you success 
successfully bring it back to that thing you're thinking of, that's like a bicep curl for your brain. Yeah, your mind got distracted, but you were able to bring it back. That is meditation. That is how you practice mindfulness. You know, the way I can tell my meditation sesh was a good sesh is if 80% of the time that my mind drifted off, I managed to bring it back. I'd wake up from like that meditation and be like, yeah, that was really good. I feel great. That's how you practice mindfulness, not with the aim to getting rid of your thoughts, but the aim to bring it back to one thought. Hopefully this helped you out. I hope things have been good. I hope things have been all right. And I'd be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here, because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and don't give up. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, self-improvement gets...